the year 1944. D-Day. After a successful landing on the beaches of Normandy, Allied troops battled their way through the French countryside. On to Paris and the liberation of France. But for some, liberation comes too late. A brave member of the French resistance murdered by a traitor. The dreaded poisoner of Alsace. Alsace-Lorraine, historic frontier province long claimed by both France and Germany. The village of Verzenay. Here, the poisoner of Alsace lays claim to some 20 victims, all members of the French resistance. But what of this shadowy poisoner? Who is he or she? Suspected is this woman, Madame Davos. Before the occupation, she was well known as the best baker of Verzenay. But few saw her true face. Heroic Marines capture a high-ranking Nazi officer, believed to be the man behind Madame Davos' treachery. But why did she do it? There are rumors among the town folk, hush talk of illicit rendezvous, romance. I will never tell you. You'll never find her. You will never learn her secret. Prophetic words, for the Madame disappeared and has not been seen since. Will she be found? What is her mysterious secret? We may never know. Hickey, we've got a deadline here. I need your column 10 minutes ago. I need to file on the Warren Commission in order to finish it. Try looking under W. Oh, you moron. He files the Warren Commission under T, the Warren Commission. I cut the guy some slack. Oh, and look, here's the Teapot Dome scandal, the Grassy Knoll. I say we fire his ass. You just gotta know how to handle him. Keep it simple. Like I asked him to clean my keyboard. Byers. You're both forgetting it's his life savings keeping us in print. I don't care. He's a menace. He believes in our mission. He's got a good heart. And he's so happy to be here. If we let him go, it'll crush him. Crush who? Who's gonna get crushed? Jimmy, um, we've been talking, and uh, we're not sure this is the right place for you. What, are you kidding? Working with guys like you, it's a dream. Jimmy. I've been looking my whole life for something like this, to feel like I make a difference, to work with men of integrity, to fight to make this a better country. You three. Your heroes. I am so proud to be a part of this team. Just talking about it. Look at that. Goosebumps. You are so fired! Froicky. Fires. I'll buy us a dancing monkey. I'll teach you how to file. We'll give you your money back. Just get out of here. I get it. I get what you're trying to say. Old Yeller. In Old Yeller, the kid yells at the dog to make him leave. 
He loves that dog. He doesn't want him to go. Guys, don't feel weird about taking my money. It's my honor. We're gonna keep the dream alive. An old yeller. The kid shoots the dog because he's rabid. Thanks for the idea. Can I help you? I am looking for this man. He writes for your newspaper? Uh-huh. Him. He is the only one who can help me catch a killer. This is the last known photo of Madame Davos. She disappeared shortly after it was taken. The poisoner of Alsace. I don't mean to sound stupid. Should I know who that is? Check the files under T for the poisoner. She murdered 20 members of the French resistance during World War II. She served pastry ice with arsenic. She's a known Nazi collaborator. Nazis. I hate those guys. So why come to me? Last month, this personal advertisement appeared in several newspapers in Europe. It's from a woman looking for her long-lost son. Or Mrs. Anna Hogg of Elwood, New Jersey. The OSS believed that Madame Davos bore a child out of wedlock to a German officer, that she sent her infant son to Berlin with the retreating army. It's likely that the child ended up an orphan of war. You're thinking that the poisoner of Alsace placed this ad, that she's alive somewhere looking for her lost child? Well, how do you know this Mrs. Hogg is this Davos lady? The advertisement mentions Verzenay, the village where the poisoner lived. The dates are correct. In my heart, gentlemen, I know it is her. I still don't get what this has to do with me. The child's father was this man. Wow. You're thinking Frohik could pass himself off as the long-lost son? And bring the poisoner of Alsace to justice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First things first. I look nothing like this man. I'm better looking, for one thing. When I saw your face, I had such hope. You see, I am named after my father, Michael Wilhelm, the prefect of Verzenay. He was also a resistance leader. He was poisoned the day the Allies marched in. I'm staying at the Belmont. Please call me if you change your mind. Seriously, it would never work. Well, why not? We pulled off far more difficult undercover ops. I don't care how old she is. That lady is dangerous. Well, you've never been afraid before, so what the hell's the problem? Oh, for God's sake. I... I just... I... I can't pass for a 56-year-old man. Have you ever stopped to think that I don't speak French or German? You're an orphan of war. Say you're raised in America. Okay. So what if she plays along and poisons me? That's why we'll be monitoring your vitals remotely. Oh, great. So you'll have 10 seconds notice before I croak. And you won't even be in there long enough to do lunch. Just ID the woman and hightail it out of there. And how am I supposed to prove that she's the poisoner? I've been waiting for you to ask me that. I ran a little search on the Davos family. Seems they all share one interesting physical trait. A birthmark, shaped, ironically, like Germany. A birthmark, so what? It appears to be... <laughs> on her butt. Ah, <laughs> uh, no freaking way. It seems to be the only means of making a positive identification. The whole family has it, huh?
What are you doing? Covering my ass. You're gonna give me a birthmark too. Prepare to get wounded. Be a wuss. You're the master race, remember? Relax, Frohickey. Your heart rate's rising rapidly. Well, yours would be too if you were facing certain death. Or some withered old keister. I don't know which is worse. Knock again. Maybe Mummy didn't hear you. Oh, uh. Afternoon. Um. <clears throat> uh, I believe you placed this ad? You're looking for your long lost son? I believe I'm him. You're in. Now, Panzer! I thought I saw a mouse. What do you want here? I came to see Mrs. Hogg. I am Mrs. Hogg. That's my maid, Mrs. Allsop. Who are you? I'm your son. Dolph. <laughs> Ooh, we're losing calm. Oh my God, what is she doing to him? Fro Hickey. Fro Hickey, do you read? Pardon me? You do have a girl in there. Now, look, you can't just park in front of my house and play slap and tickle all day. I assure you, we're neither slapping nor tickling. Well, then what are you doing? Uh, well, we are, uh... Is that Mrs. Hogg's house? Oh, my lord, you, you're spying on Mrs. Hogg. No, we're not spying, per se. We're surveilling. Is surveilling her maid. Her maid? M Mrs. Alsop? Well, whatever for? Uh, INS, ma'am. <clears throat> we have reason to believe she's not American. Well, of course she's not American. She's from France. Um, this is a federal matter, ma'am. I'll have to ask you not to reveal our presence here. Or you'll go to jail, too. Along with the other old bags. <laughs> We got calm. Yeah, without any help from you two. Frohicky, where are you? Oh, I'm in my key new bedroom. She insists I stay the night. Well, that's not the plan. Go take a look at her caboose and let's get the hell out of here. It's not that easy. My eyesight's only just now coming back after seeing the maids. Dolph, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? I, I, I was... I, I was just saying my prayers, thanking the Lord above that we found each other. These belong to my second husband. They should fit you. He was a tiny man, too. Gee, thanks, Mom. Oh. No, 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 don't. No, these need to be laundered. No, they don't. I, I was going to wear them tomorrow. Is that how you were brought up? To be filthy? Go to sleep.
was that? Nothing. As in nothing in my stomach. I gotta eat something. Let's just hope Frohicki hasn't. We got movement. It's her. The neighbor lady. Oh my God, old people get up early. You think she exposed us? Frohicking? Do you read? need my clothes. No offense, Ma, but please don't do it for me. What? Mm. They fit perfectly. Come. For you, something special. Come. Come, come. Follow me. No, thanks, Mom. I'm not, I'm not hungry. You have not eaten a thing since you got here. This is made special just for you. Eat. I'll make some juice. It's delicious, Ma. Yeah, good. Guys. Guys, did you read me? Bro, Hickey? Damn, man, where's your tuba? You look like the little dude in one of those cuckoo clocks. How about I pop out of my little house and ring your bell? What is going on in there? That whacked out broad just tried to poison me. That's what. She gave me one of those pastries. It's evidence. Get it to us so we can have it analyzed. Dolph? How you feel today? Oh. Oh, you look weak. You come with me.
you doing here? I know who you are. You're that lady whose name is the same backwards as it is forwards. No, it's not. Eva Del Harlow is an anagram, not a palindrome. Yeah, exactly. Backwards, it's Lee Harvey Oswald. No, backward is nothing. Back. Why am I even talking to you? By all means, continue dancing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going with that? Give me that. This? You're not going to try and take it from me, are you? Hmm, smart boy. Whoa. But you're not going anywhere either. Not until I know what's going on. Is that even possible? For you to know what's going on? Fine. Your three stooges. They're investigating a woman named Madame Davos. Maybe. Maybe not. They are. And as usual, they're in way over their heads. Oh, yeah? And why's that? What do you know about the man that brought them the story? I think some poor old French guy named Michael Wilhelm. Yeah, he's named after this father who's the pre... pre-something of some French village vers version. Anyway, he was poisoned to death. Michael Wilhelm, the prefect of Versailles, was indeed murdered by the poisoner of Alsace, only he died childless. So... who was the guy that was here? You are the king of the divan, get a in the basin. Faster, faster, move those little legs. I push too hard. My fault. Yeah, whatever. I'll live. Hopefully. Oh. You must live. Now that we found each other, we must both make up for the time we missed. When I lost you in the war. All those years ago. All those years. The world was hard on little things then. It robbed me. It robbed me of my treasure. But today, I have my treasure back. Now, you must eat something. I am very worried about you. What say we order a pizza? Good. I go call. Frohiki, she left the room? Yeah, she's gone. You think you can make it into the kitchen? We still need that pastry she gave you as evidence. I'll try. I don't know, guys. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this. What do you mean? I mean... Did you hear what she said to me just now? She actually sounded like she had a heart, not like some rabid Nazi murderer. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to see the wrong old lady's butt. It's gone. What's gone? The pastry. It's gone. Hello? This is all up. Hello? Byers. Langley. I think I spoke too soon. She's putting on quite a show. That's cold, man. That's how your hardcore Nazis work. I've seen enough. I'm gonna go talk to the cops and tell them this was no heart attack. Don't. We still need proof. 
What do you need, Byers? A signed confession? She is the poisoner of Alsace. That death crawler was meant for me. I'm out of here. I just got off the phone with Michael Wilhelm. He says if you leave now, it'll only arouse her suspicion. She might try to slip out of the country. We could lose her forever. I'm sorry, Froeke. Still got a glimpse of the ham. You're the sun, aren't you? Oh, it's so wonderful you two found each other after all these years. I'm Luella Everidge from across the street. Dolph, nice uh, to meet you. Your mother wants to have a few friends over this evening. You know, little schnapps. Oh, sure. Like a wake. Uh, oh, it must be a comfort to her to have her son back, especially at this time of need. Mm. Dolph, answers the phone if it rings. I'm going to take a shower. Boys, opportunity knocks. Where to find him now? Tell me who he is. You've heard of Stasi, the East German secret police. Not good guys. God knows how many defectors they tortured and killed. I believe this man, who now calls himself Michael Wilhelm, gave them their orders. He's a cold-blooded murderer. There's a sizable bounty out for his arrest, provided I can prove that it is indeed him. Pretend that you like me. So, yeah, what does any of this have to do with the lone gunman investigating Madame Davos? Have you seen Mr. Wilhelm's left buttock? Baby, I don't swing that way. Especially not with old guys. Wait, wait a minute. So you're saying that he's her son? That doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't he just go to her himself? Because he knows there's a bounty on his head. Why not send three stalking horses to find out whether or not it's a trap? We need to tell the guys. If what you say is true... Then they're right where they should be, keeping the eye on that woman. You're my lookout. Think you can handle that? Please. The Domkopf for Haben is auf the falsche Frau abgesehen. Eine Augenblick minute.
Komm mal, bitte. Thank you. Wonderful job. Hey, he's a sneaky son of a gun. Tell you what, I, uh... Sorry. What now? Now, you warn your three friends that he plans to kill them. T minus ten, counting. Copy that, Eagle. And may God have mercy on your soul. Camera ready? Camera is ready. I'm about to breach the inner sanctum. One small step for man. One giant moon for mankind. privacy here? I've never seen a grown man so shy about his body. Uh, well, I'm embarrassed uh, about my birthmark. Birthmark? Yeah, you know, on my backside. They're all as good made us. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, maybe they run in the family, huh? Oh, whoa! What are you doing there? Uh, I can take it from here, Mom. So, we shampooed your hair instead. Now, here we go. Uh, that, that, that's not my brand of shampoo. I use the high dollar stuff, you know, and it's got to have sheep placenta. Sorry. <laughs> Don't talk silly. And take off that wig. So, you got a toupee, so what? I love you just the way you are, always. <laughs> oh, oh, my sweet little boy. Jimmy, why did you bring her here? You've been set up. You need to get Frohickey out of that house. Not you again. Why don't you go find your own Nazi to hunt down? Guys, listen. The guy we thought was the son of the guy that died wasn't the son of the guy at all. He was the son of the lady that killed the guy. You're not going to start talking about old Yeller again, are you there, Jimmy? The real son of the Poisoner of Alsace is on his way here now. He means to retrieve his mother and flee the country, leaving no witnesses behind. The real son? And who's that? The man who put you on this case. Michael Wilhelm. You're saying Wilhelm is Mrs. Hogg's son? No, not your Mrs. Hogg. I overheard Wilhelm say, die dunkel vor haven is auf die falsche Frau abgesehen. The fools are spying on the wrong woman. What does that mean, the wrong woman? Someone close to Mrs. Hogg. Someone who used her as a decoy. A decoy for what? To allow her to find her long lost son without exposing her true identity. It's the neighbor, Mrs. Everidge. She's Madame Davos. Come on, that nice old lady? I mean, sure, I called her a bat and everything, but 
You know, she caught me peeing in the head just, just now. She didn't even yell at me or anything. She even gave me these muffins. Ah. Poisoned. Gotcha. Mm. <laughs> That's no good. I get you a better one. Uh, uh, Ma, I've been dressing myself since I was 40. What's the matter with you? I'm trying to give you a message. Best what message? Mrs. Hogg. She's not the one. Who is that man? And what's this? We need to talk. Dog sucker. He'll be out for an hour or so. Barely enough time. Okay, so now what? <laughs> now we get me to a hospital. Look, oh, you're gonna be A-OK, -okay, buddy. Come on, let's puke you again. Oh, I, I hardly know you. Oh. It's your turn. I need you to get undressed. help you? Mr. Wilhelm. This man is a friend of mine, Mrs. Everish. about it is Mrs. Hack. She's the poisoner of Alsace. How do you know? She killed my friend, the crazy old bat. Poisoned him. And I think she's on to me. She knows I'm not her son, and she'll try to poison me next. She's dead. You killed her. You Nazi. I'm going to call the police. Thank you. What a job well done. You are Madame Davos, are you not? That is your true identity. I'm your son. Wait! Ich bin deine Mutter. I met this woman through an Alsatian friendship society. I was looking for someone whose story matched mine. Someone who was from the same village who'd also lost a son. What? She's crazy too. I encouraged her to seek her child so I could find you. There is a way to prove this. A family trait. Ah. <sighs> My God, it is shaped like Germany. You are the poisoner of Elsass. Then your ass is grass, lady. <laughs> Man. 
man, you were so fooled! That pastry you gave me. You said it was special for him. You poisoned my maid. I trusted you. You're a liar. I'm not the only one. Let's go. Listen, I'm... I'm sorry I tried to see you, but... I had to do it. I, I mean... I had to lie to you. But I'm sorry you got hurt. And I'm sorry you haven't found your son yet. I did find you. For a day or so. There he is, the man himself, secret agent man. We make one heck of a team, huh? We don't hug. I spoke to the FBI. Eve is already filing for the million dollar bounty on Michael Wilhelm. Utterly typical. No surprise there, she's only ever out for herself. Then why'd she stick around after she knocked out Wilhelm and do this cool makeup job? Ow! <sighs> she did save our butts. Maybe she's not the person you think she is. You could still be fired. this.